Well, Silk, we recorded an episode last week after the, the departure of William Piegler and Patrick Tony to the NFL, not to be outdone, not long after we recorded that show, wide receivers <laughs> coach Kerry Colbert, uh, it was announced, would be joining the Denver Broncos uh, coaching staff as their wide receivers coach. Uh, so that leaves Florida with two openings with the addition of Austin Armstrong as the defensive coordinator um, last week. So, so what are your thoughts on Kerry Colbert's departure? Uh, just, just going to be just blatantly honest, man. Like these guys are going to bounce if they have NFL uh, options. Um, we're blessed that Corey Raymond was, is going to be hanging around. We'll talk about that a little later, but D- Kerry Colbert got an uh, offer interview uh, with the NFL and, and he's gone. Uh, it's just a, all of this is just a good look on Billy, you know. Um, we you want some continuity with your staff from year to year. That's that helps with, you know, playbook and, and and some growth. But if your staff is getting poached and they're not going down, it's not a lateral move. They're moving up to the NFL, getting pay raises. I mean, this guy know how to hire. He got a good eye for talent. So um, now we just wait to see who he hires next. He did a good the first go round with uh, some of the guys that are excellent. We all wanted some upgrades. Kerry Colbert was not one of them. I think he was a good recruiter. A uh, good wide receiver coach. Uh, we'll see who we can bring in. I like some of the names that have been mentioned, but mm-hmm. we got to figure this out within the next two weeks, right? Tight end yep. coach and wide receiver coach. Yeah, I know that there's been a lot of talk about what that wide receiver coach position could look like. Uh, Ike Hilliard is a name. Obviously, you guys will remember him as one of the best wide receivers in Florida Gator history. Uh, Spent a long career in the NFL and then a long uh, career coaching wide receivers in the NFL. Uh, He was most recently the wide receivers coach and offensive car co-offensive coordinator at Auburn University. I know he is on the market. That's certainly a name. Uh, that you can look at. I know Justin Stepp from South Carolina uh, is a name uh, that people have thrown around as well. Uh, Eric Keesaw, who was just announced as an offensive analyst and former offensive coordinator at Auburn, is somebody that has experience for that role. Uh, David Decker, who is also a a quality assurance coach, is another person uh, that could be uh, thrust into that role as well. Uh, Derek Decker has worked, or David Decker, pardon me, has worked with Billy Napier uh, from his time at Louisiana and was brought over to the University of Florida. Uh, and then Jeff Scott, again, a name that we talked about and uh, you know has not, uh, despite uh, rumors out there, has not agreed to join uh, the Clemson staff. Again, uh, discussions that he wanted to take a year off, but could a position as a wide receivers coach at the University of Florida entice him? That is to be seen. So do you want Florida to go the outside route or would a name like Eric Kesaw or David Decker um, be enough for you? Uh, no, I want to go outside. I don't want to just keep it all the way of being. I want to go outside. I think I at least want to match the caliber of guy that was just here. I don't want to take a step down at that, at that position. Um, I kill you is an interesting name. He's coaching the NFL. I just don't know about his uh, recruiting chops. He was over mm-hmm. at Auburn for a little bit. Don't know how much of a recruiter he is, but it's a former guy that know that knows the lay of the land a little bit and also has that Louisiana tie that Billy has. He's originally from a uh, Louisiana area. Wouldn't mind Ike at all, but uh, there's some names out there that I'm interested in. I know I'm forgetting South Carolina's receiver coach. It's, it's Justin skip. Step. Justin Step is the guy that I would like to get um, an up and comer. I think he's going to be a, a fast riser in the coaching ranks. Uh, wouldn't mind going after him if we if that's a possible poach. Uh, there's some Louisiana, not Louisiana. There's some Billy ties because they both went to Furman, I think, not at the same mm-hmm. time, but they went to the same university. Um, those are my two guys right now. I, yeah. I, I don't want to uh, self-promote. I know we're last minute, so that may be a thing because you got two weeks before spring. Uh, so that may be a thing that we do, but I'm not a fan of it. I think we should go get somebody at the, at least the caliber of Kerry Colbert. Yeah, no, I would agree. I know that Dallas Baker is a name that a lot of Gator fans have asked about. Wouldn't mind, as well. wouldn't mind Dallas Baker. Wouldn't Dallas mind Baker uh, obviously was um, – you know, the touchdown maker at the University of Florida, an incredibly talented wide receiver, had a, a bit of a career in the NFL as well, uh, had previously coached at Marshall, uh, previously coached at Buffalo, and now is the wide receivers coach at Baylor. Uh, we do know that Dallas Baker was very interested in joining Dan Mullen's staff as an off-the-field assistant or in any role. Um, he was not given that opportunity, ended up at Buffalo after that. 
And Dallas Baker, certainly a guy, uh, you know, to join the Baylor staff uh, is, is a big jump up from Buffalo, but obviously it was something that the staff sees in him, uh, but he has been climbing the coaching ranks. And then uh, shout out to Brandon Connell uh, said that Napier hockey and a few other staff members have also followed Taekwon Underwood. You might remember him from his time in the NFL previously coached our, sorry, he's the wide receivers coach at Pittsburgh. Now previously played at Rutgers. Oh, oh the plane was in Pittsburgh too. The, the plane was in Pittsburgh last week. Mm. Uh, Played for the Patriots, the Bucks, and the Carolina Panthers. Uh, but again, you some names to look out for uh, as we uh, have Nick join us. Nick, my friend, it's good to have you today. Welcome, welcome aboard, man. You all right? Okay. Oh, no. we back out of here. Back out of here. We'll let him get all situated. Yeah. Uh, so again, names, uh, Tyquan Underwood, uh, Dallas Baker, Justin Stepp, Ike Hilliard, a lot of names to consider uh, over the next 